Hey guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to discuss how to create your own custom linked list. And we are going to perform some operations like inserting a node into a linked list and display it on the UI or console. So this is one of the most important question which was asked in many companies like uh, Cognizant, Capture Mini, Infosys, and IBM. And these are the questions which uh, were shared by our students who got placed in these companies. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So that will give us the motivation to create more videos like this and so on. So we can start with the video. So can you create your own custom link list and try to add some notes into it? Yeah, all right. So uh, first I'll try to explain what is link list. In link list, uh, there's a concept of node and each node has a data part. And then we have the pointer, which is next uh, pointer to the next node. So let's take an example. If we have a list of uh, one, two, and three, for example, there are three elements in the uh, linked list. Then one, uh, one is the data and the pointer will be to two. And similarly, um, second will be the data in the second node. And then it will have pointed to three. So let's try to implement this um, concept using, using Java. So let, let me write the main method first. I'm going to write a main method, which is public static void main. So auto complete, yeah, main method. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to define the entity first, uh, which is known as node. So let's try to uh, add the definition for node. I'm going to make a static static class. So static class, and there will be a node. Node will have two entity. First entity will be known as your data. So in our example, we are going to consider data as integer. So we are going to add integer to our linked list. So integer data. And the next part will be node, uh, which will be pointed to the next node. So we are going to call this as uh, next. So after this, we are going to provide a constructor of the node. So let's try to add a constructor of node. So node will accept your uh, integer uh, data. And we are going to assign uh, data, this dot data. So this dot uh, data data refer this dot data refers to uh, the data at line number six and we are going to assign uh, the value that we get from outside okay so data is assigned and we are going to assign uh, the next pointer as null okay so when when the pointer is null that means there is no element uh, next to this this is end of list so this is uh, the node uh, entity and the linked list also had one more element known as head head is where the linked list start so head is of type node. So let's try to define head as well. So this is uh, this is the part where your linked list actually starts. Okay. So now we have defined all the elements of linked list. Now let's try to uh, create a functionality known as insert. So by uh, inserting, I mean adding an element to the end of the list. For example, if there are three elements, one, two, and three, and I want to insert element number four. So four will go at the end of the list. So we are trying to write that functionality. So let's try to write a method, uh, which is going to be a public uh, static method. And it is going to return uh, the linked list itself. So it is going to accept <coughs> the linked list, <coughs> link list, add the element, and then return the linked list. So we are going to name this method as insert. And insert is going to accept uh, two parameters. One is your linked list itself, because it needs uh, the uh, original linked list so i'm going to rename this as uh, name this as list and the element that we want to this list which is going to be data in our case so insert accepts uh, two parameters one is your actual linked list and the data and we are going to return the same linked list after adding uh, the data so let's try to return the list okay now uh, the first condition that we want if if the list is null so that if you are trying to add the first element to the list. How will you check that? So if a list dot head equal to equal to null, that means this is the first element you are trying to uh, add to the list. In that case, list dot head equal to new node. So before adding uh, something to the list, you need a node itself. So let's try to create a node. So node node is this entity that we defined at line number five node uh, new node i'm going to name as new node equal to 
and we are going to provide the data that we got from outside. Okay, so we we just create a new node and then we assign this new node to the head of the list. Head is uh, where your list start, starts. So let's try to add new node to the list. Okay, so when there is no element in the list, you are trying to add uh, the element to the head. Okay, so this is the first condition. Now, if there are already elements in the list, so this will be targeted in, in else part. So first element will be head, now, if second element uh, comes to the list, then you have to traverse from the start of the list till the last element of the list and then add the node. So let's try to do that. How to traverse a list? Uh, we are going to uh, take node. Okay. And uh, we are going to name as uh, last. This will start at the head of the list, which is your uh, starting point. So list.head specify the starting point of the list. Now, while there is a next pointer, uh, I'm going to do list dot next until there is next element in the list, just traverse to the next element. So while list dot next, okay, is not equal to null. As we know, the last uh, pointer of the list is null. So while the list dot next is not equal to null, I'm going to do uh, last equal to last dot next. Okay, so I'm just trying to traverse to the next element of the list, okay? So let's try while not list while lost dot next. Okay. So this will uh, bring me to the end of the list. Now I'm sure that the last element uh, last dot next, I'm just trying to assign the new node to the last element. So let's try to add new node. Okay. So what I am doing here is uh, consider, uh, for example, there is element one. Okay. Then we have two, then we have three. Okay. So one points to your two and two points to your three. And then three is the last element that points to null. Okay. Now what is my goal uh, is to add element four in the list. So uh, after inserting, what will be the outcome of uh, one, one will point to two as it is. Okay. Two will point to uh, three. And three will point to four because we are just inserting four and then four will point to your null. So this is what we are trying to achieve using insert method. So that is uh, about insert method. Now, after inserting, we need to uh, actually see uh, if the element has been inserted uh, in the list. For that, we are going to write a function known as print. So let's try to write print public uh, static. And this is going to return void because we know we are trying to print the list. So print list. And for printing the list, we need the input as your uh, actual link list. So let's try to pass the parameter as my link list. And I'm going to name uh, the variable as list. So similarly, um, as what we did in the insert method, we are going to perform the same, uh, same logic here. So let's try to define a node. And current node, current node is where your uh, English will start current node. And I'm going to uh, define this as list.head because we know uh, the list starts from your head. And I'm going to uh, sys out a link list just to specify we are trying to uh, print linked list elements. Okay, now while the current element current element is your is our uh, node is not equal to null okay so from uh, from the above example we know that the last element is null is not equal to null uh, in that case we are just going to print the data in the node and then go to the next element so let's try to print the data in the node which is your current node dot uh, data so i just print the data in the current node and then I move to the next node. How do I move to the next node? I do current node equal to current node dot next. So this way I'll move to the uh, next node and I'll perform this operation until the current node is not equal to null. That means this is end of list. All right, so we have implemented our insert method and we have also implemented our uh, print list method. Now, let me try to insert uh, some elements to my list. 
Mm, I'll create the instance of my class, which is my link list. My link list. I'm going to name this as list equal to new uh, my link list. So I'm going to perform. I'm going to um, call insert method by passing list and add data as one, for example. Then I'm going to copy this. I'm going to add data as uh, two, add data as three. All right. And then uh, I'm going to call print list and I'm going to pass the list. All right. So we have done uh, three things. We have defined the node first thing. We have uh, written the logic for inserting element. Here, if there is no element, then we add element to the head of the list. And if there are elements uh, already present, then we traverse to the last element and then we add the new node. Okay. And finally, uh, for printing, we just start from the head and we print the data until we don't reach out to our last node. So uh, may I run this program? Yes, you yes, can run it. Yeah. So let me run this program. So you can see link list uh, one, two, and three are added and then uh, one, two, and three are printed onto the console. Can you, can you add one more node? Insert list and four. Yeah, so I'll add one more node. I'm going to add a four, All right? So now one, two, and three, uh, four will be added and then finally the list will be uh, printed. You can see one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, it's working as expected. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that it will motivate us to create more videos. And if you have questions like this, which were asked in your interview, then you can share us uh, the questions in the comment box and let us know so that we can try to create these kind of videos and we will try to share our knowledge with others. Okay, guys, uh, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.